And even our blue is always here And even our blue is shine so clear I don't need a prayer even what to say No matter what I do I'll we'll never reach your God's say Call it the summer I feel from my heart And rolling my dad from my cheeks is the side and love to start The world's happy you are stuck It just feels like a curse that I can't contain Well the two of us meet again I wish I'd told you back Hey guys, it's me, TDI Fan 2024, and in this video, I will be reviewing the film. So today I just watched this new movie that dropped on Netflix called Orion in the Dark. I don't know if any of you guys have heard of it, but it's pretty much a DreamWorks film, even though it kind of doesn't feel like a DreamWorks film, but in the same time, it also does. It's kind of confusing, but it does have the DreamWorks name on it, so, you know. Anyways, this film is about a boy who is pretty much afraid of everything until he meets Dark itself, and Dark is supposed to teach this boy or help this boy from, like, uh, what's the word? Overcoming their fears so that this boy can be um, not so scared anymore. And this boy learned about all the other night entities and what they do, like sweet dreams and insomnia and silence and etc., or Quiet, I think Quiet's the name, I legit don't remember, but even though I saw the movie today, but yeah. And what do I think about it? Honestly, after watching this trailer, the first trailer didn't really do this film justice, but the second trailer got me a bit more anticipated. And after watching the movie, I have to say that this is definitely one of the best Netflix animated films. Like, it's up there with Nimona, and Nimona was great, and this film is right on that level. Even though I really wish this film got a theatrical release, sure, it'd probably be a box office bomb based on the present, the present of the film, I guess. But um, I'd still watch it, of course. Like, this film is actually really good. The soundtrack is great. The animation for a streaming movie is actually pretty impressive. And the cast does a great job. The voice of Orion is the same guy who was in Good Boys, and he played um, Flounder in the live-action Little Mermaid, and he's in other films. But yeah, he's the voice of this kid, and he does a great job. Also, Angela Bassett, who was robbed from the Oscars in 2022, um, no, 2023 actually, uh, she was also in this film. So, you know, this film kind of has a stacked cast. And honestly, I just like the film a lot. I like it when DreamWorks makes movies based on books. As you can see, most of their movies that are based on books are banners, like the bad guys. And you guys probably didn't know this, but Shrek was actually based on a book. Even How to Train Your Dragon was based on a book. So a lot of DreamWorks' movies are based on books, and most of them deliver, except for, like, The Boss Baby, of course. But uh, this film is no different. This film is one of the great book adaptations from DreamWorks, and I think DreamWorks is honestly, like, a, a genius at that and that's why i just like this film a lot the music is great the story is pretty good like not as good as like how to train your dragon but it's pretty good i'd say it's on the same level as like the bad guys that's where i'd put this film at um but yeah it's just a really great film i gave it a 10 out of 10 and so i'm giving it a 10 out of 10 right here because this movie is really good i definitely recommend it if you have netflix or if you're just a dreamworks film or an animated i mean a dreamworks fan or an animation fan in general, you should definitely check this one out because this one should not be slept on. It's a really good film, and that's why you should watch it. Anyways, for those of you who did watch this movie, let me know your thoughts on it in the comments down below. And with that said, thanks for watching this video, and stay tuned for the next one. Peace out.